to try and turn this into something uh, pretty funkadelic. Obviously, it's going to be a coffee table. Um, I don't know how it's going to go, even if I can save it, but it's a lovely piece of English oak that I acquired from somewhere. It's got a lot of splits on the top. I don't think these are anything to worry about. There is a couple down here which some bow ties will need to be added. But I'm going to rip all this off, get rid of all this loosey-goosey stuff uh, just to get back to a bit of thickness. Try and keep this shape if I can and then do a, a nice base for it and hopefully it should look pretty sweet. So yeah, let's crack on. So I've ripped the sides down as you've just seen. I'm not sure, well, I don't like it at the minute anyway. It's far too square. So I'm gonna round them over with the various tools, basically, whatever does the job. There was a real high piece of uh, the sort of the structure of the tree up here. So I've just knocked that down with the, um, what's this thing called, spoke shave. That's the one. I've uh, just knocked that down. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to attack it with the drill and a, uh, oh God, names are going out of me now, wire brush in the drill. So I'm just going to knock all of this dead or deadish stuff off to get down to the harder stuff. And I'm going to put another coat of hardener on it. Uh, and then we can start working the said frame and just, yeah. Trying to get it done. So I'm going to crack on with that now. note it does help if you are using one of these um, and it's quite an old one you'll notice people only use them in the one direction on the drill and what happens is all of the, the wires the bristles they, they go in that direction so you are abrading it but if you turn the drill to the other direction just flip it over in reverse what you're doing is you're going against the pile the bristles so you're getting a much more aggressive removal so it does bite a lot more but Okay then folks, so we've um, cleaned all the edges to a fashion. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, my own. I've decided what I'm gonna do is make my own sort of natural live edge uh, to these straight pieces. These cracks I'm not too worried about. They don't follow th through, they're just surface, so I'm not too bothered. This one's gonna need some sort of bow tie or some sort of tie in it, and this one as well. So I'll probably do a couple, and just one down there for sort of aesthetic reasons. I've got this on a nice flat piece of MDF, firmed it up with some wedges, nothing needed here because it's supported on the back and there's a couple of pieces of oak just supporting it here. What I'm doing now is I'm going to flatten this top, it's pretty good off the sawmill to be fair, so it's not going to take a lot of flatting. I have made a sled, just a quick rough and ready sled, I don't normally do this sort of thing so So yeah, I made this sled. This is an old jig I used for um, cutting dados or housing joints in boards. It's just 
piece of ply, couple of runners and a stop that end. I kept it for some reason, I don't know why. This fits in there pretty snugly. There's no back and forth movement. Moves that way because of the round on the one side. But what I'm gonna do is plunge this down to about 10 mil, I wanna say, and then slowly take off the material until we're completely flat. show you what it's gonna do <coughs> so as you can see I'm not taking much off there but I'm taking a little bit off here and um, that'll just follow through until this board is completely flat now so oh, onwards and upwards Two thousand years later.